the fishing heritage of this dock and the 6,000 men that was lost on this dock, no one in this city has ever given them the time of day that they, you know, they deserve. This, as you can see, this swamp, this dereliction, where 6,000 men in peace and in war, you know, sailed through them lock pits over there and never ever came back. That, uh, that, that anchor was, as far as we know, was, was put in, in place in, you know, uh, in, near a mural for people to come and sit by and uh, reflect on, on times gone by. You know, moving the anchor, uh, it, it should have stayed here anyway, even if it had to be replaced. But then to move it miles away, um, where you know I didn't think it was warranted, and then to actually hold you know some sort of service uh, at the same time as we, the Hull Bull Nose Heritage Group, uh, do a wreath lane on the boulevard every year, uh, you know I just uh, I thought it was inappropriate to say the least. The city was uh, was built on fish. Yeah, yeah. On the yeah. fishing industry, you know that's what created this city. Uh, and it, it's not been given the fitting tribute that it should be given. Right. And to see the dock in this state, uh, yeah. and it, it absolutely breaks your heart that it's in this state now that nobody's looking at redevelopment and a bit of investment. An investment in this area would actually invest in the whole area, the whole Hazel Road area, yeah. the retail yeah. area, yeah. would bring jobs and investment, more investment into the area. Yeah. It, it'd be a great tourist attraction if it was done, you know, in, in the right way. And, um, you know, you just don't see anybody down. I mean, you look around you now, it's deserted. There, could, there should be thousands of people in this area. And there's just no, no, no thought by anyone to, you know, anywhere else, if 6,000 men had been lost, there'd have been huge memorials and statues and everything. Yeah. We, the, all we've got is what we've put together ourselves.